proud to be here because Serbia finally has a representative after nine years of absence. I'm very proud of that achievement. The fourth woman heading to the semifinals is... I'm so proud to represent Vietnam. I want to give you many thanks for supporting me in this competition. Still in the running. Puerto Rico! For me to win Miss Universe, it will mean something historic. I already made history in Puerto Rico, and I would love to do that in the space and the platform of Miss Universe. Moving ahead, Nigeria! I feel like it's hard work. You need that skill. And I also feel like another skill is the belief in yourself. Because a lot of the times we always feel like we can't achieve this, we can't do this. But I feel like it always starts from within. So that's actually really important. The next woman in dancing is... I'm the first indigenous woman from my country to win this title and to ever represent at Miss Universe. So I've made history already. But the most important thing about that is that indigenous women are being seen. Stepping into the semifinals, Cuba! The most unique quality I bring to this contest is being the first Cuban after more than 57 years. I would say that the most beautiful thing about my country is the people. Heading to the next round, China! Our semifinalist is I take pride in any small achievements, any big milestones. So I think we need to celebrate the small moments as much as possible. Always put yourself out there and don't be afraid to take risks. Congratulations to the first 10 semifinalists. 
20 more will be joining them. But right now, let's check in with our experts, Zuri and Catriona, to break down the first group. Ladies. Thank you, Mario. And congratulations to those 10 women. That has to be such an incredible feeling. Kat, what do you think about this first group? Of I mean, wow. I was excited before. I'm excited now. Oh, the, only the first group, and there's two more to go. Cuba, last place in 1957. So making some great history tonight, baby. Right, baby. This is the 73rd Miss Universe, live from Mexico City. For the first time ever, at Miss Universe, Pandora is presenting an award to the delegate with the most inspiring personal story. The award recognizes a woman whose journey, resilience, and authenticity inspires others. Thank you, ladies, and welcome back to Miss Universe Live from the Arena CDMX right here in beautiful Mexico City. Okay, so we've already met 10 of our semifinalists, and now it's time to find out who the next 10 will be. Yes, let's do this. Okay, the 11th woman moving to the semifinals is... Egypt! <laughs> I consider one of my superpowers is turning pain into power. Whatever life throws at me or whatever someone throws a stone on me, I take it as a stepping stone to reach higher places. Because I believe that life is not how it is, it's how you respond to it. Joining the top 30 is... Mexico! The quality that is going to make me stand out is my emotional intelligence. Because if you have these control emotions, you can do whatever you want in every moment in your life. The next savvy finalist is Argentina. I'm a very curious person, every day changing. Despite everything that life throws to you, good and bad, we can achieve everything that we want only if we get in tune with our determination. Still in the chase for the crown. of myself, being proud of my people. I've always wanted to be here since I was very young. It was my dream to be here representing Thailand. 